Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome to Spoon With Me, the AUP student cooking show where you will be anonymously rating your guests out of five for a class soiree. Best bit is you have 15 euros to go wild in the aisles and make a recipe from the gods. Not only do you have to create a menu of good foods, but a menu of conversation as well. The best way to do good in this competition is to create an evening that flows with good conversation and good food. Bon appétit. But less dancer Alison is in the house. She's cooking Australian stew. True to her Perth roots, she works at UNESCO, but is also a student at AUP studying diplomacy and international law. Better not get on her bad side. She loves the underground music scene of drum and bass, so she decided to meet me by some street art that genuinely feels more isolated than the outback. Alison, so you've got your guests coming in 45 minutes. Yeah. It's a bit nerve wracking, but you'll be absolutely fine. I'm sure you will be. Um, just a quick question. If you were on death row dinner and you did something really, really terrible, what would be your final meal that you'd eat? I think I'd want to have a barbecue. I'd want to have a beautiful barbecued steak. Classic Australian a classic style. Classic Australian barbecue. At I'd the want barbie. To, yeah, I'd want to have a snagger, a sausage in a... a snagger? That's Never what we call that. them. Yeah, that's what we call them in Australia. <laughs> I'd want to have a sausage. You I'd like want sausage. to have tomato oh, yeah. sauce. I'd want to have a three bean salad. I'd want to have a corn on the cob that's been mm. grilled on the barbecue or oh, some salmon. Lovely. Some reef and beef as we call Oof. it. Some salmon and some beef. I'd want to have something that would remind me of my, my, my childhood. Well, yeah, After learning about that. Alison's love for those snaggers on the barbecue, we're off to the supermarket where we've given her 15 euros to find all of her ingredients in 10 minutes, since time management is essential for student life. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Alison's just coming, and I can see how she's... Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? So. Well, that was rushed. Broke can I just food. say, you asked me not to spend 15 euros And if you more. spend more than 15 euros, I'll be very, very unhappy with you. The exact amount that I spent was 15, 15 euros. euros. That is incredible. I like having people around for dinner. I like the whole thing where you've got wine and you pair the wine with the food. And I find music does motivate me in the kitchen, and, you know, I have... I love for lots of different types of music. I love classical music, but I also love drum and bass. And I'm just going to taste test the meat. No, oh, it's good. The guests are arriving, and surprisingly enough, Greek Egyptian Halid is on time, looking Hi, rather dapper, if I say so. Bienvenue, Next up is Eleanor from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi. Michelle has unfortunately had to leave the show due to personal I'm reasons. I'm Eleanor. Great, right, like, I'm you. Nice to meet you. Can I take your coat? Yes, that'd be lovely, lovely. Um, would you guys like um, a Kia? Just start off with. A Kia Royale. Out of her own pocket, Alison has prepared Coeur Royale for everyone. A champagne-based cocktail of creme de cassis topped with champagne, if it hasn't gone all over the living room floor. She's got like that. <laughs> 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 Dinner is now served, and appropriate for this chilly weather, she serves home comforting Aussie winter stew that consists of 500 grams of beef feeding four people. After heating beef on an old saucepan for five minutes, you pour in some tinned tomatoes whilst adding a glass of water to help liquefy the food. Red wine can be added as an option to create a sharper taste. After about an hour, you add chopped vegetables consisting of onions, carrots, potatoes and leeks. The magic ingredient used is Vegemite and it gives it a harsher taste. The first course has been served and now it's time for the menu of conversation. Alison is going to ask all of her guests two questions. Let's see what she has to ask. Okay, so it's time for me to ask you two questions. The first question is, you're stuck in an elevator with Hillary and 
Don't know. <laughs> well, I've had a plan if ever, knock on wood, I get locked in an elevator, the first thing I'm gonna do is pee. Because I know in 20 minutes I'm gonna have to pee and then be <laughs> in a conundrum, so I'm just gonna pee. So if I was in an elevator with them, I would go right over to Donald Trump, spread them legs and piss as much as I can on his nasty cheap suit and nasty stanky gross body. She also tests out her Australian so slime with her guests. I'm gonna go around the diary, I'm gonna go around back of the survey for a couple of diaries and I might have some grog or I don't know. And then I'm gonna tundra in the dunny. So you have to tell me what you think I actually said. <laughs> So I feel like you said something along the lines of, I'm gonna hook up with someone tonight, so I don't wanna drink too much, so that I'm not like, not able to like, DTF later, I don't know. <laughs> what does DTF mean? <laughs> Down to So you said something about going back at the sofa and having Dari, I don't know what Dari, <laughs> but I assume it's a drink or something. Yeah, and having a drink and then like getting wasted and... Okay. I don't know. Tundra in the, the dunny. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So what I said was, we're going to go around the back of the gas station and share a cigarette, but let's not drink too much because I don't want to be sick in the toilet later. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is dessert. With plates polished, Alison's own recipe comes into play with the unusual poached pears with chilli and balsamic. Cranberry juice is added to sweeten it up. Mm, it's divine. The dinner party has now come to a close and I have to say, Alison has done pretty well. But it's not up to me, it's up to her guests. Let's see what they had to say. So I'm gonna give Alison a four because um, one, I'm not a big meat eater. I did find that maybe the stew lacked something to it, like salt for one. Maybe a few other things that if we had been in the kitchen together, it could have helped her with. The dessert was really good. I've never had a pear that was poached. So that was amazing. Her question's a little like surprising just because like, I don't know, they're very political oriented and I feel like at a dinner party, unless you're really like comfortable with the people, you don't, that's not a thing you bring up. Good job, Allison. I can't wait to have two more dinners with you. I like the decoration of the apartment. It felt like home, like it was super cozy and Alison, she was really friendly. She was always taking care of us. I did not like a part of the dinner and actually of, of the main dish. Meat was kind of watery. There was too much water in it, but it was actually quite nice, but still like not exactly on point. Because of this, I'm giving you four. I thought she was a lovely host. I thought she had everything prepared and she had booze and everyone had a lovely time and drink. Mm. It was a lovely conversation. And she even, she made a vegetarian meal for me. I don't know what else I can ever ask for from somebody. But I had a lovely, lovely time. I think that's quite enough for tonight since I can't get Hallied out of the kitchen. He can't stop dancing. Alison can be very impressed with what she did, scoring a strong 13 out of 15. That's all we got time for. Stay tuned for the next episode.